Hello, welcome to part three of my Electro House tutorial. If you have not been caught up with the song we have so far, I put the links to the intro, part one and part two of this tutorial series in the description. So let's go ahead and open up our projects. And the first thing that we're going to do is begin adding some drums to the song. So we're gonna to go to the little plus icon, create a new software instrument, open up the inspector, we're going to go to the I.O. and click on the Ultra Beat. From there, we're going to go to this menu at the top and open up one of their drum kits. For this song, I use the Vintage 08 kit. If you don't have the Vintage 08 kit, just explore some of the other drum kits in there and find one that you like. We're going to double click on this track and rename it Kicks 1. Uh, we're calling it Kicks 1 because we're going to be having another track of kick drums that we're going to EQ separately. So let's hit escape and switch to our pencil tool and create a box to start drawing in some notes. Switch back to our mouse, double click on the box, open it up, and let's find the kick drum here on our keyboard. All right, it is a uh, C1. So we're going to hold command to switch to our pencil tool and click in some quarter notes. All right, so this is what your finished drum rhythm should look like. So once we do that, we're going to go up and extend this loop. And then we're going to click on the velocity controls and highlight all these kick drums and drag the velocity all the way up because we want to hear these all as loud as possible. Good, so we have this one completed. We're going to make a duplicate of this track, double click on the name and call it Claps. We can hold Alt and click and drag this onto the Claps track. And we only want to leave a thing on beats two and four of every measure. And we'll drag it up to E flat. We only need four. Sounds right. We can drag this loop in half so that it only comes in for the second half of the kick drums. All right, so the next thing we can do is duplicate this claps track, call it snares, and we'll do the same thing. We'll hold Alt, click and drag it onto the snares track, and we'll turn on our metronome for this. Our snares are on D1, and we want eighth notes. So we can just copy and paste the ones we already have in here. And we'll make a little rhythm more like the kick drums from the beginning. And these snares are going to be the percussion during the buildup. So we'll copy this track and we're going to make a loop where these snares go faster. So I believe this one is going to be straight eighth notes. We'll leave that as just one instance of that instead of looping it. And we'll copy and paste this, and now we'll make one that's 16th notes. But first, we're going to highlight all these, shrink them a little bit so they don't overlap when we make them faster, and copy and paste them all. So now we have our 16th notes. We'll delete the second half of them. And let's come up with a nice rhythm for our drum fill before the main part of the beat comes in.
All right, I like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make a second track of kick drums. So we're gonna duplicate our first track. We can grab the MIDI notes after we rename it Kicks 2. We'll copy and paste these MIDI notes onto the track called Kicks 2. And then we'll go in there and we will make them just quarter notes. We'll just delete everything in the second measure and just make this a four beat loop by dragging that clear box to the left. And we'll drag our claps over to the second half of this. And we'll shave one measure off the end of those kick drums to leave space for another drum fill. So we're just going to copy and paste the snare drum fill from the buildup, and we'll just keep the second measure of it. And we'll copy and paste the snare drum fill over one more time. Good. Now that we have all of our drums laid out, we're going to go in and do a little bit of mixing. So we're going to go down to our mixer, go to Kicks 1, click on the EQ tool, and that'll open up our handy EQ. Turn on the analyzer so we can see what our sound wave looks like as it goes by. And we'll play the beginning where our first kick drums are. So the first thing we're going to do is engage the low cut, and we're going to cut some of the bass out of these kick drums. We'll call it 80. So we are rolling off everything below 80 hertz. And we'll put a little peak right here to help it in the high frequencies. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of percussion into the second half of our main beat section. We'll just copy and paste the claps down as a starting point. And we'll go find some low toms. And we'll do a little bit of an upbeat rhythm with these toms. So our toms are here on F1. And we'll move these. Yeah. And we'll do that twice. We'll do a one measure loop. And the finished loop should look like this. Now we're going to go into our Ultra B and uh, we'll, I'm going to switch to the Vintage 09 kit just for the toms. I think the toms sound a little bit better in this drum kit. And feel free to go through all the different drum kits, find yourself some percussion. I believe in the intro section, I also had some hi-hats on the upbeats in there. Go through, add some cymbals, add whatever you think sounds good. But that's gonna be all for today. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create the synth that goes up in pitch for the buildup and also the dutchy sounding synth that you heard in the main bass drop. So I'll see you guys next time.